On this date, back in 1944, the state of South Carolina executed a black teenager who was then convicted of killing two white girls in Clarendon County. George Stinney was only 14 at the time of his death, but doubts of his guilt lingered for years, and some 70 years after his trial, his conviction was overturned. Caitlin Hagwood has more on the case and its relevance today. It was 1944 in the segregated Clarendon County town of Alkaloo when two young white girls were found dead. Deputies got a tip that the girls had been seen talking to George Stinney, a 14-year-old black boy, then came to his family's home and took him away. What happened next would make history. Confronted by an all-white jury in a trial that took less than a day, Stinney was convicted of murder and executed by electric chair. Kiana Sweat was a high schooler in 2014 when his case was brought before a judge. And I think for all of us in my class, it was kind of like a starting fire for us to, to, to understand more of what we had to do to get justice for anyone and us as well. Sweat and her classmates researched the case and worked along with others to get Stinney's conviction thrown out. The efforts were successful. Now, six years later, Sweat finds herself on the front lines of another push for change. This time, it's following the killing of George Floyd. I do believe that rallies like that are what get the attention of people. Sweat has been participating in the local rallies, along with thousands of others calling for social justice, like Lindsey Vann, an attorney and the executive director of Justice 360, which advocates for criminal justice reform. To say that we can look just at the problems as they're occurring now and not look at it as the broader system um, that got us here, I just think is not ever going to work. We have to reconcile with the fact that the system has so many racial disparities and we have to correct that. She hopes to see the laws made to create a change so that the killing of men like Floyd and young boys like Stinney ends. I think people in South Carolina don't realize that children under the age of 18 are still being sentenced to die in prison. Um, they can be sentenced to life without the possibility of parole and it it's just not fair, um, and there are a lot of racial disparities. Sweat says the protests are a step forward, coming closer toward a more equal future. Kaylin Hagwood, News 19, WLTX. And George Stinney still has family members in the Midlands.